Hey, good morning. Welcome to uh, Wednesday, the 27th of January. Um, and today, a bit of a grammar lesson. We're looking at, can I use subordinating conjunctions? Um, by the way, that's a picture of Hadrian's Wall there, that picture, which is a wall the Romans built uh, right at the kind of north of Britain on the border with Scotland, really. And that's uh, just to kind of keep the keep the Scottish tribes out. So it's sort of the edge of the edge of the Roman Empire, really. Um, so which of these words could be prepositions? So... Um, Obviously, it depends on how you use it in a sentence. So some words we'd think of as prepositions, you might use them in a different way in a sentence, but which of these words could be prepositions if you use them in the right way? So just need to make a list of those, uh, write down ones that could be and ignore the ones that, that couldn't be. Okay, so if you need any help, uh, remember a preposition is just the clues in the name, really. Uh, position, it tells you where something is in relation to something else. Okay, so let's have a look. So uh, there are ones on here that aren't prepositions. So suddenly, door, table, uh, wind, then, last. None of them tell you where something is in relation to something else. The ones that sh you should have written down, um, are these six. So they could all, if you use them in the right way, they could all tell you where something is. So, you know, the, the chair is between the, the door and the table, or um, the, the dog is underneath the table, the lamp is beside the drawer, um, the pen is inside the classroom, um, the bell went before break time, um, and the bridge was over the river. Um, they're not always prepositions, as I said. So, for example, the word over, if you said, you know, the game is over, that's not a preposition. Uh, but if it shows you where something is, then they are prepositions. Okay, so today we're looking at subordinating conjunctions. So, subordinate conjunctions are used in complex sentences, and that's what they do. They make complex sentences. So, this first sentence here, uh, the farmer whistled to his dog while the sheep kept grazing. That is a complex sentence, um, and while is a subordinating conjunction. The reason why that's a complex sentence is because you can take the two parts of that sentence and put them in a different order, and it still makes sense. So you could take that subordinating conjunction while, put it at the beginning of the sentence, and get while the sheep kept grazing, the farmer whistled to his dog. So if you can do that with a sentence, you know it's a complex sentence, and you know that that conjunction there is a subordinating conjunction. Uh, there is also compound sentences um, and coordinating conjunctions such as and, but you can see with these ones, you can't move them around. So Simon, Simon climbed the tree and he picked the fruit at the top. You can't say, and he picked the fruit at the top, Simon climbed the tree, it doesn't make sense. So what we know is then that this top one here is a complex sentence because you can write it in any order. And this bottom one is compound because you can't. So what we're looking at today is subordinating conjunctions. They're those words there that link two parts of a sentence that mean that you can write them in any order. Subordinating conjunctions. So that's what we're looking for there. Words like while. So there are lots of subordinating conjunctions. Um, you know, I'm not going to show you them all, but we're just going to look at a few of them. So here's a list of some of them. Uh, not all of them, but maybe some of the more common ones. So you've got after, although, as, I'm not going to read them all out, uh, once, since, until, when, whenever. Um, so all of those are subordinate conjunctions, and we're just going to have a look at using some of those today. And we're always going to think about the topic of the Romans and our, and our information text that we're going to write. So hopefully by the end of today, you'll have a list of quite a few sentences that you can use when you come to write your, your information text. So the first one we're going to look at is because. So I'm sure you all know what because means. It gives a reason for something. Um, so I've got three sentences here, and I just want you to have a go at writing those sentences, but finishing them off with something that makes sense. Um, so it might be quite tricky to begin with, but just, but just have a go. Um, so using your notes from Monday as well. So you should have, these are all things which are based on what we learned on Monday's lesson from that, from that text we made notes on. So the first one is, because the Romans knew a straight line was the shortest distance between two places, what might, what might they have done because of that? Um, 
Secondly, the Romans made a huge impact on British language because, so have a think about what the Romans did for us, which, which impacted upon our language, which changed our language. And finally, something, something, something because we named our planets after them. So we know we named our planets after the Roman gods. How could we kind of start that sentence off? So pause the video and just have a go uh, at coming up with those three sentences. Okay, let's have a look. So here, here's ones which I've done. They're not the only right answers, of course. There's you know, loads and loads of different things you could put. But uh, this is what I've done. And feel free to steal my ideas as well as yours um, or instead of yours, completely up to you. Um, so I've put, because the Romans knew a straight line was the shortest distance between two places, they built their roads very straight. Uh, the Romans made a huge impact on British language because they gave us the Roman alphabet. And I've started that one, but we still remember the ancient Roman gods today because we named our planets after them. Um, so there you go, a few easy sentences using because. So I'm going to do the same thing again. This time I'm going to look at although. Um, so although is like two contrasting things, two opposite things. So although one thing happened, something else still happened. So it might be like, although it was raining, uh, we all went out for playtime anyway. So it's almost something that you would have thought uh, would have changed things, but it didn't. It happened anyway. So although the Celts spoke many languages, they didn't. So what didn't they have? Um, although they did speak many languages. Um, and although the Celts had muddy tracks going between villages, what did the Romans come in and do? So have a go at finishing those sentences. Um, with your with your own finishing. So give come and pause the video. Okay, so once again, uh, you can use mine or not use mine or or, or, or use your own, however, but these are some examples that I came up with. Um, again, that's not the only correct answer. So although the Celts spoke many languages, they didn't have a written language. I put so they didn't have any sort of alphabet or writing, which Romans did bring us. And although the Celts had muddy tracks going between villages, the Romans introduced roads made of stone and clay. So they introduced these proper kind of hard wearing roads um, that you could have, you could drive like carts along and, and chariots and things. Um, whereas the Celts just had these muddy tracks. So that's all those. So again, you steal that as much as you like. Uh, the last one we're going to look at is until. Uh, this is quite an easy one. So, um, you know, until shows something didn't happen until a certain point. So for example, you know, we don't have lunch until 12 o'clock. So it's kind of a, um, that shows you where, how it how it'd work. Um, so until the Romans came, Britain, we could say loads of things here, couldn't we? Um, so anything to do with what the Britain didn't have uh, before the Romans came, you could finish that sentence. And then maybe, maybe uh, Britain didn't have what until the Romans brought it over? So what did the Romans bring over, which we didn't have first? So until is quite an easy one to include in our information text. So pause the video again, have another go at just those two sentences. Okay, so again, I've put until the Romans came, Britain didn't have coins. That was one thing, wasn't it, which they brought over. Um, and I've also put Britain didn't have an organized way of building cities until the Romans brought it over. So uh, again, we just had sort of villages and things like that, but it wasn't like a proper laid out design city. Okay, so we've almost done. So the last few ones are a few subordinate conjunctions I've picked out, which I think are going to be really easy to fit in to our information text. So I've gone for once, when, before, and wherever. And I just want you to finish off. I haven't done these ones. I just want you to have a go yourself. So just come up with four sentences here that you could use really easily off the information text. So we've got, once the Romans arrived, what happened once they'd arrived? Uh, when the Romans invaded, again, what did they change? What did they bring over? Before the Romans arrived, Again, so what, you know, what didn't we have? What did the Celts not have? And finally, wherever the Romans lived. So wherever they came in Britain, wherever they stayed, what did they bring? What did they build? What did they sort of do? So um, have a go at finishing off those four sentences. And then hopefully you should have 
quite a few sentences, a nice bank of sentences there, which you can kind of start using, putting into your information text when we come to start sort of thinking about how we're going to write it tomorrow.